the Zer for perhaps July 27th. And today, he can be found on Earth. I have a question, guys. Uh, does the Zer spawn on the planet with a Flashpoint every single time? Because, you know, Flashpoint is on EDZ. I've been tracking this for the last, like, six weeks. And it seems like he's on the Flashpoint destination every single time. Except for when uh, he's in the tower, which usually means that he would have been on Mercury or Mars or something like that. So, anyways, he's here on uh, the EDZ spawn over there at the... Where the the cove, the winding cove, and make your way up this tower. You can find him up here uh, next to some of these guys who are ready for this. Uh, we got a couple of different and interesting things here today. First off, the weapon, Huckleberry. One of the best SMGs in the game right now because of its uh, amazing perks. Firstly, it has Rampage. It also has increased fire rate and recoil while holding down the trigger and kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine. This is actually the biggest part about it which helps you stack incredible amounts of Rampage stacks. So you just keep killing enemies, you keep getting ammo back to the magazine and you keep getting Rampage stacked over and over and over again. This thing can do insane amounts of damage. I highly recommend it. I would definitely say this is like a, a, an 8 or 9 out of 10. The only downside obviously is it's an SMG and it lacks range entirely. Next up we have Eye of Another World, one of the Warlock exotics that you can be found in the campaign as you're going along. A lot of people do get it, it's pretty much the most gotten one in that particular uh, choice for the most part because it is just generally useful for anything. Highlights priority targets and improves regeneration of all those abilities. Uh, highlights priority targets, basically, I think if you do enough damage to a target, uh, then he has this little red outline around him uh, through walls. So it's like wall hacks, which is actually really useful. Uh, very similar to the way Foe Tracer works, except for Foe Tracer is a hit marker and just on targeted enemies. And as far as rating goes, I, I would think that this is like a 6 or 7 out of 10. So if you don't have this and you don't really have much, I would recommend it. But there are a lot of other things that are very specific to certain circumstances that are definitely a lot better. Check out one of my top 5. Uh, Warlock Exotics if you want to know more about what I think is the best Warlocks. Next up we have Crest of Alpha Lupi, one of the Titan Exotics that I used very early on in the game. It generates an additional Orb of Light from supers and a Healing Pulse when the barricade is active. So this is actually quite useful when you're doing Faction Rally. So you pop up in that barricade, you get a tiny amount of health left. It's it's it's, it's more like, like a fourth of your health, which is why I don't really think that this is particularly amazing. The additional Orb of Light, I still don't know if it's from the kills or if it's from just popping your super. I think it's just from popping the super. Or perhaps just on that first kill, you get an extra orb. So it might help with a little bit extra orbs, but there are a lot better exotics in the game in general. Uh, and it's just not as bombastic as I would like it to be. If this was like more orbs on every kill, this might be like an orb creating machine. It might be like the support version of the Titan class as far as like tether goes for the hunter. So I definitely like to see something changed here because it's not just bombastic enough. Next up, Magnus Strix Elite actually got a buff. Uh, a little while ago, or it, it got changed a little bit because uh, it used to be where you uh, switch sidearms really quickly. I think this was with Warmind that it got changed, but uh, it got changed basically when you're critically wounded and swapping to a sidearm, it increases its damage, which allows you to do a lot of freaking damage. This is probably really, really useful when using it with the Drang Sturm combo, because one of them is a sidearm, which is the Drang, and the other one is a hand cannon. You can bounce off a ton of damage off of both of them if you're using that combo, and I definitely could see this being very useful if people actually use sidearms for their use when you run out of bullets in your primary and you want to switch very quickly to your secondary. And it's still, you can switch your sidearm very quickly with this because it increases its ready and reload speed. But overall, this is not particularly useful because sidearms are just not very meta right now, so I'd say this is more like a 4 or 5 out of 10, but with the particular combo and synergy, this could be very useful. Other than that, you obviously have your Faded Engram, which is going to be a guaranteed exotic you've never gotten before. Um, if you have gotten all of the uh, exotics on your particular class, make sure you get this on another class. So if you've gotten all your Titan exotics and guns, uh, make sure you go over to your other classes to get those. And then finally, you got Thrift Coins for more exotics in the world. Highly recommend using this when picking up those raid chests or doing public events or whatever. And then finally, Five of Sword, you can upgrade your Prestige Nightfall card, which is very useful for doing Prestige Nightfalls, uh, making them faster, getting uniques and whatnot. So it's very important that you get this if you don't have it already. And that's the Zer. That's all there is really to it. My controller's kind of glitchy right now. It seems to turn left uh, very oddly. But uh, yeah, make sure you come over to the Zer. Make sure you join Mr. Hua Bath and me. Um, and we're going to be uh, hanging out, waiting for you guys. I'm just going to take a seat. So if you see me over here, make sure you say hello. I know Optimus Penguin is currently watching the video and he's like, I'm coming. No, I'm coming. Anyways, <laughs> not the tomfoolery. My name is Midnight Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.